Good morning, students. How are you today? Today we're going to have another lesson. Today it's called fancy shapes using nested loops. Our objective for today is to order movement commands as sequential steps in a program. Our success criteria number one: combine simple shapes into complex designs with nested loops. Count the numbers of times an action should be repeated and represent as a loop. Break complex complex task into smaller repeatable section. Okay, guys. The purpose today, if you remember, uh, last week we have the same uh, lesson. We was practicing with nested loops. Today we're gonna mo use more loops in general, uh, nested loops, to be more uh, more creativity. Uh, to have more opportunity to create your own design in the end of the stage Okay This also uh, allow you later later on create a designs in artist that can you pro proud of and you can share it with your friends or anyone Okay This activity today we gonna use nested loops in a way to uh, uh, to see coding in another different way okay this sets of puzzles that we're going to start doing now to build and develop your thinking skills okay to understand the uh, elementary geometry okay and creativity okay guys this is all including with a scope of nested loops okay now let's start with the practices here it's lesson 12 fancy shapes using nested loops okay here in practice number one as you can see here there is a shape we need to draw it we did this before guys and we did it before in previous lessons in semester one but today we're gonna use the same artist drawing but with nested loop okay here in the instruction, draw a triangle to kick start the stage. Each side of the each side is hundred pixel long, as uh, and you will need to turn one hundred degree for each exterior angle. Okay, guys, for sure you know how to do this. Okay, you're gonna move forward by hundred pixel, right? Then what I need to do then turn here what hundred and twenty degrees. Then again, move forward, then turn right by 120, then again, move forward, right? Let's try to do this. Yes, great. For sure, someone will tell me, mister, we are repeating same thing. What we can do, guys? Repeat, how many times here? Three times, then which one we're gonna take? Move forward, turn right. 100 degree three times and we are done okay guys let's go to practice number two in practice number two guys here see the nice shape that we're going to draw look here new now loop the triangle six times we need how many times to 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 do the same things how many six times one two three four five six okay after each triangle you need to turn how many 60 degree before drawing the next one let's see how we can do this one guys okay for for sure we need to move forward here 100 pixel okay then we need to turn left right 120 degree he really mentioned that that angle is 120 degree and the same angles actually for the practice one okay to complete the, the first triangle we did exactly what we did in here in the practice number one three times and we can put this inside right okay someone will tell me mister it will be in black color if i run this one it will be black color but we need to do it in different colors. We can set the color before this random color. 
right? Let's see. Okay, great. How we can do the other six uh, triangle? What do you think, guys? He tell us you need to turn 60 degree before drawing the next one. Okay, it means we need to turn which side, guys? We are here. We can turn right, right? Turn right by 60 degree. Outside of for sure because we complete the first one and we need to turn. We don't need to repeat it. Okay. Now, what we need to do, exactly the same thing here. What we're going to do? You can set a different color for sure. Then add the repeat. Same thing three times, right? Move forward by 100. Turn left by 120. Right? Let's try. Right, guys? Okay, great. Let's complete again. Same thing. See how long it will be this code. Set color. Repeat three times. Ah, someone will tell me now, mister, you forget something. Right? We need to turn right by 60 degree first before drawing the new triangle. Okay? Move forward by 100. Turn left by 120. Then what? Again, set color. Then before that, what? Turn right by 60 degree. Set color, random color. Then again, repeat three times. Move forward. Turn left. Okay, guys, we have to repeat this till how many times? Six times to complete the whole. To complete the whole what? The whole uh, triangles. Okay? Okay, guys. I will not complete it. You can complete it by yourself. How many blocks we need to use here? 24 blocks. This is can help you with. Okay? Let's go to the next uh, uh, puzzle. Here we have a video. Let's watch this video together. When you put a loop inside of another loop, we call that a nested loop. For example, here we're given the code already to draw one triangle with sides of length 100 pixels using the repeat times block set to 3, once for each side of a triangle. But we want to draw six triangles. In order to do that, we're going to take that loop and place it inside of another repeat times block. Pretty cool. Okay. As you know, guys, nested loop, what's mean? A loop inside another loop. If you remember this from the previous lesson. Let's go to number four. Number four, guys, exactly what we did in number three, but here we're going to use what? A nested loop. Okay, if you remember what we did there, guys, we set the color, random color, then repeat three times, what? Move forward by 100 pixel, then we turn what? By 120 degree, then after that, we need to turn by, right, by 260 degrees. What we can do here, guys? How many times we need to draw this same thing? Six times. Right? It means we take all this, we get another nested loop, repeat it for six times, take this all and put it inside the nested loop. Let's try now. Then we are done. This is exactly what we did in practice three. Uh, practice two, but here guys we use what the nested loop it makes what see how much easier this is with nested loop right it was very easy but in there we write 26 lines or 26 blocks in practice two but here we use the nested loop we use only how many blocks six blocks wow okay let's go to number five 
Number five, see actually guys, I uh, before I didn't go through this all because this is something new for you, just uh, I want to show you what you need to do here, okay? In number five, you need to use my, your mind actually. In number five guys, use your new skills. Now you have a skills to quickly draw the last draw of windows for this building. This windows are 20 pix squares. Each, each 20 pixel apart, each part from this is what? 20 pixel. Okay, now let's see what we can do here. For sure the squares guys is you need to repeat four times to draw a square, right? Four parts of the square, it will be each each other, right? It will be moved forward by 20 pixels, right? Then turn right by 90 degrees. It's 90 degrees actually, right? How many times we need to repeat this? Four times to complete the first square. Ah, oh, sorry, here we need to turn left, not right. Okay, we complete the first square. Here the artist is stopping here. To start drawing this one, guys, from here to here, how long it will be? Between this and this, there is a 20 pixel, and from here to here is a 20 pixel. It means total, what? 40 pixel. And we don't need to draw anything between here, right? It means, guys, what we gonna do? Jump. Right, jump, it means it's not drawing. How many pixel jump? 40 pixel, right? Then we repeat the same thing how many times, guys? You need to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It means we're gonna use what? Nested loop eight times. Here we go. Let's try now, is right or wrong? Wow. Nice guys. See how fast? If you didn't have a nested loop, see how many times you're gonna repeat, repeat every code here eight times. Wow. It's helping us, right? Okay, let me do practice six with you guys, then you need to complete after that. Okay, let me remove everything here. Here, great, do the same thing with these circles. Each circle is made by moving one pixel before turning. How long before turning? One degree. And how many times we need to repeat it? 360 times to complete one circle. Each circle begins at just 50 pixel from the where the last one is ended. It means there is between each circle to here to start and end here to here, it's 50 pixel. Let's just start. First, you need to move forward by how many pixel, guys? He mentioned to us, one pixel. Before turning, now we need to turn what? Turn left, right? One degree. How many times we need to repeat this to to complete the first circle? We need to repeated 360 times you're gonna get the repeat block 360 then we put this two inside and let's see yes we complete the first circle but only black what we can do here guys we're gonna put such random color then here okay guys now we need to draw the other, how many they are? One, two, three, four circles, right? They are four. It means we're going to use what, guys, here? Excellent. Nested. Loop. Four times, right? But before that, we need to jump, guys. We need to jump here, right? To start another one. It means we need to jump forward by how many pixel, guys? He mentioned to us here, 50 pixel. We need to change this to 50 pixel. And we take all of this, put it in another nested loop for four times. See, this guy's jumped already. It's a jump to the other circles. 
Okay, guys? I believe you understand. I need you to take the challenge of the other practices by yourself. Okay, and there is a, a challenge in number 10. I need you to take care that if you want to skip it, you can skip it later. Then you can play till 13. 13, guys, it's just a free to play. I need you to draw something like this. See, he giving you some example he's here. If you remember when we did the project uh, in week 10 in semester one, we create a nice project, like something like that. If you remember, you do it by yourself by using loops. Today we are using nested loops. It's more easy to create kind of these things. I need you to think, guys, okay, from the things that you learned today and create some amazing shapes using nested loop. Here it's open to you. You can draw anything. You can take a screenshot what you did in number 13. You can post it on feedback discussion to show all the students in the same class what you did in number 13. I need you to give me the feedback about the lesson and the feedback discussion. In the same time, take a screenshot of what you did in number 13. Okay. And in the same time, you can submit your work. If you can take a screenshot of how many practices did you are done? Take a screenshot here in the end. See which one is you completed, which one is green. It means this one is not completed. Okay, you need to take a screenshot showing this part when you submit on the assignment for this week. Okay, guys, I hope you understand the lesson today. See you later. Thank you.